Hey everyone, this is Pilot22, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, Return of the Dark Sorcerer. In the last episode, we did some exploring of this new continent here, visited some new towns, and got some equipment and all that stuff. And in between the last episode and now, I did a little bit of level grinding and magic grinding, which I will show you now. Let's continue. <music> So yeah, here we go, there's my new levels, got a couple levels for everyone. This is my equipment, just kind of showing it off here. Not much has changed in terms of the equipment, although I did finish off the vanish spells and put the uh, white dress back on teeth in there. That went also pretty much the same as where I showed you last. Skills, I pretty much want to, I was able to learn most of the spells for everyone. Well, the spells for everyone except one. Step one has magic now. See, everyone's got 100% on their stuff. The only one who doesn't, and that was probably my bad, is Cloud. Because I really wasn't managing the, the Esper zone too well. And he kind of left uh, his own devices for a little bit while I was grinding. But what he did learn is like latest level 24 is in a level 5 limit. Force Steel or Force Stealer, yeah, apparently that's like what, that was one of the weapons, or apparently that was one of the weapons back in Ball Magazine 7, just they, they renamed it. Instead of like the Empowerer, if I recall correctly, the same, the same idea absorbs enemies' HP and MP. Yeah, it's really useful not so much for the HP, but for the MP bonus or recovery that you can actually get from some enemies. Yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much about it. Oh yeah, I forgot to save during this month. Okay, so it was like 13 hours 50 minutes. Now it's 14 hours 42 minutes, so not, not quite an hour. And there was sometimes, or I actually wasn't doing much of anything. I let the game go for a minute or two I was doing other things. Oh yeah, but what I did too is I used it to buy some items in the shops, the gold liner that is. Yeah, pizzas, I always like keep those max, I got like 15 recharges. Make sure the aqualins are even out, just like that. Got a couple more lemonades, made it 15. Uh, doubled my shelters, gave myself 10 shelters, coverage all 30. Clear eyes, red apples, make sure I'm all good for this. I'm keeping my tabs, because again, I don't want to save them for later. Although, in this thing, I'm, I'm still debating where I want to use these golden apples and summer drops. Because always that they can be quite useful. Yep, so with that, I think that's about it for all the ground I'm gonna do. Well, I didn't want to show that didn't want to have a fight here. Can I run? Not gonna let me, are ya? Okay, let's kick their butts. Don't wanna mess with me. And since I'm right here in the town, I think it's worth it. I want to be max HP. I'm somewhat maybe OCD on that. Is that the right term? Well, I'm going with that. Let's save state again, shall we? And it goes to the little corner there to find the Togobo stable. Is it a thousand gold? Thanks, Gil. Yes, it is. Again, it's worth it. To the uh, glow, to Glow City. Here we go. We're coming, Espers. We're almost there. There we go. Let us save again. Save state zero and save state one. Let's go in. Yep. I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm a Christian Lay, Senior League Division. <laughs> Sir Stroll told me to expect you. Hey, don't look so surprised. We old folks like to disturb some trouble once in a while. Hey. 
Okay, while well, I attract the soldiers, you can climb on onto the steel tower from this box and enter Facility X. Got it. Alrighty. Yeah, this is your last chance to back out. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be sick. Get the heck out of here, geezer. So we go up here. You see, they in the box. It's automatic there. Oh, must have had a few too many. Oh, couldn't toss it all. I I can't look. Memory training, soldier. <laughs> so we can jump down. Let us go in facility X up here. I'm gonna be quiet here for a second, viewers. Yes, awesome, awesome music. Gotta love that. Whoever put this together, kudos. Yeah, in case you can tell, this is one of the themes from Batman. The uh, Nintendo, or maybe the main arcade version, I can't remember other systems it was on. But I have the actual Nintendo cart, and this brings back memories when I played it when I was a kid. Like, when I first heard this, I like literally jumped out of my chair. And I thought, kick your ass. Anyway, we're here, facility X. Now what I'm gonna do here is put most of the guys in the back row. Everyone actually except Tifa, because I think her actual reels actually depend on range. Or depend a couple of them anyway. So yeah, let's go. And I love how they keep the music during the fights, too. I think Cloud's limits may depend on range, too, but we'll see how that works. Yeah, your main two attackers basically are rolling, rolling in an Avalon. No difference in that. See how many shots goes. Okay, that's bad. That was not good at all. How about level three? That magic one. Is that any better? I should get rid of them. I'm pretty familiar with this area, so I'm, I should be good with all the hidden treasures. Let's get this one here. 6,000 gil. Definitely I'll take it, for darn sure. What's up here? Level 3 limits. Blade beam. Better. 501. I think that's what I'm going to use now. Yeah, definitely that's why I did the grinding for the HP. Definitely for Avalon. That we can actually effectively multi-target and still do decent damage. Excellent. Nicely done, Cloud. Yeah, everyone at this point now has a cure spell, so going nuts with it. They go here on the top of this little conveyor belt. Lots of conveyor belts in this, in this dungeon. We find a molten axe. Let's have a look at it, shall we? It is one of those unique weapons. Randomly cast fireball. Who can use it? Saren and Arik if they're in your party. 
and it has a fire element to it, so quite useful in this area. The only way to get out of here is this, the hook. This hit A, or I hit the direction of the main when you get close to it, and, that, and there's that. I would go down here. Treasure right to the left. Got a ribeye, I'll, I'll take that. Nothing here. Can't go up there, so... Where to next? Well, if you go up, that's back, so I'm gonna go right. Okay, we go. Yeah, Rona can... Uh, not Rona, Avalon can actually do decent damage, because his weapon actually does pretty decent against humans. Although, honestly, these elemental weapons could be a bit of an issue for the quote-unquote bosses in this area. Not sure how far we'll get in this episode, so we'll see how it goes. I may or may not get there before I run out of time. Yeah, on my first playthrough of the game, uh, I, yeah, I mentioned before, was when I first heard the music, I was shocked. And I definitely like, put, like, state number 8 or 9, so it would be out of the way. And actually, once in a while, I do call it up just to listen to the music. That's, it's that good. And we find an ice brand. Thank goodness we found that sword. Because... Let's look at it here, shall we? Remember to cast Icicle, that's beneficial. Good, more, a bit better battle power. Anyway, Cloud can actually have a better weapon now! Ain't that awesome? There, it's better by 11 or 21 points for battle power. Even Rages is magic by one. Reduces the other stats by one, but I think it, the boost is worth it. There we go. Got a mic tab there. That's very useful. Anything around here? Nope. So, next is down these ones. To the next section. Lots of sections in this, in this uh, cave here. No, not cave, but facility. Riot Mecha. Oh boy. Let's use our new magic to use, shall we? Storm. Ow. Nice! Awesome. These guys have a little bit of HP. Nicely done, guys. Yeah, definitely heal up after every single fight. Don't take any chances. Anyway, there's a couple treasures to find here. Yeah, let's have everyone use Storm. See how those mechas like it. Yeah, those attacks can actually add up quickly if they attack one person all the time. Oh, we're not, I don't think we're halfway through this area yet. It's pretty big. We find a reflex cake. And let's up down here. Don't get that confused with the fucking ring. It's right beside it. Some attacks will miss. Nullifies confused status. So I guess it has its usefulness. And confused can be a real pain in the butt in this game. Got a 
run from these guys? Nope. Won't let me. Here, I go fast forward. Cloud learning his magic. That's good. Yeah, don't be afraid to use a lemonade or two in this area. Go up here, go in the store. As you will recall, we actually passed by a treasure chest on the way to this room. Now, these guys aren't worth to use a uh, matching on. Just use abilities. Yeah, I always use my healing with whoever has the highest MP and just go from there. And here we find a gold shield. I think that actually has to change from the original game. Or was it still a gold shield when he first played it through it? Anyway, this, like it says it is, brilliant shield with a gold. You can see that some negative effects lowers your speed by 3. It may plus 10 though, so it does help a lot. Decent defensive power and magic defensive power as well. However, all my guys are, as you see, duo wielding, or in the case of Cloud, single wielding with his uh, gauntlet or whatever he has on there, the Van Brace. Yeah, don't go on that little uh, right here. There's a, that's a platform that takes you back down. That will slow you down. Back down we go. Yeah, fast forwarding helps a lot. And they can cast like protective things and shell on them, so that can be annoying. Anyway, you can go down here. I think we're supposed to go down this one first. Okay, these guys are running into is quite annoying. And what's up here? A long passageway. Iron Giant. Oh crap. I want to get lucky in that one. Those are Let's see how physical attack works against you guys. Ouch. Have it should be quite useful. Okay, physical attacks suck. Life purge. Ow. That hurts a lot. That's better. That's good. A magic attack, water attack. See how that works. How that works. I like how the one eye giant is confused, it helps a lot. One's gone. Attack himself. I love it. And kills himself. Even better. I suppose I could have saved the magic grinding for an ear, but man, it is what it is. And yeah, that's pretty much the extent of French, by the way, I know viewers. And here we find the shelter. Now, before we go north, let's go west first. Actually, let's go south, in here. 
Because there's a treasure, if you look in the far left, just to take a little more, hit up and hit A. You find the Mithril Mail. And have a look for the Avalon, definitely better. By defense by 4 increase, magic defense by 3, and speed by 2. All in all, a better item. So that's a hidden treasure there, because the girl kind of blends in. More Riot Mechas. Great. Let's try single targeting Havoc, save his magic. That's pretty nice damage. One's down. Ah, ooh, that was a nice one there, Cloud. I'll come through all the way west here. More enemies. There we go. There we go, Surge Cutter. Nice! See, Team would be a friggin' house if you get the right reel. Found the gold helmet! Now, see how much can he use it? Nope. Avalon can use it? Yes, he can. Now, an 8 point defensive boost, that's pretty impressive. If A goes down by 10, that's not good so much at all. Magic defense up by 2, that's okay, and loss of 2 speed. Uh, I'm on the fence for that one, honestly. Let me know that, if you all know in the comments, viewers, uh, what your opinion on that is, if that's worth it to sacrifice your benefits for the HP. Can I run? Yes, I can. But I'm not going to. Guys are gone, I like that. Team for leveled up. Nice. Anything up here of notes? Not so much. Ah, I want that surge cutter again. Yeah, that he's attacking is no good. See, it takes a lot of hits to kill these guys by attacking. I think I got everything. Yes, let's go back. Okay, run. Too many enemies. Okay, I'm not gonna run now because I got all the good stuff. I'm trying to save time, but I'm not gonna win out, I guess. Why did I just attack an Avalon instead of actually using Havoc? That's a good question. Okay, let's use my pizzas now. Bomb for a reason, I'm gonna use them. Okay, let's go east. Go north. 
and that's not the way to go. I just screwed up. I've been here so many times, and yet I still screw up. That's because this place can be like a freaking maze. Yeah, I'll start off the fast forwarding noise, but I'm trying to save some time here. Come on, can you run? One's gone. They're all gone. There we go. Okay, I think we're supposed to go this way now. Can't run against these guys. Crap. I'm trying to see magic here without using my weapon because those things are expensive. Well, I suppose I can always use the one in, uh... Dabitry, with Sharon in my lead, and get magic, get the crap price. Now leveled up! Yay! There we go. Okay, let's go up here. There we go, this is where I want to go. Anyway, you're going here. The pipe to the right. Or from these iron giants. Yes. I might be a bit over level for this area, but meh, not bad. Anyway, you can go down here. Uh, right about the middle of the screen, you can actually head right into a secret room. We find the taser mace. And where is it? One of these weapons here. Random class shock. Only Aurora and Ark can use it. So I did a little bit of a different thing there. Fine, and this one, Aqua Gear. And that one is Level Z Armor. Absorbs Water Damage. Ooh. Weak against Lightning. Absorbs Water. Cloud, Ronin, Tifa, and Ark. So three of the characters they have can actually equip it. That's pretty impressive, actually. Let's see. Lowers his other staff by pretty good, but it might sipping that he needs strength. Defense only up by one. Aqua Gear, let's see. Magic Power down by five. Ooh. Pretty good defensive increase, and magic defensing is better. He can't use it. How about Ronin? Ooh, it's got its benefits, and I suppose for the fights we can use it, but not right now. Alright, Mechas, come on. It's pretty high encounter right here. See if I can avoid using my magic and skill normally. Here we go, one's gone. You should fall pretty quickly as well. Yep. Anything down here? Nope. Back at the pipe we go. Down we go. Fall to the next one. And here we go, we fall back down here. And if I recall correctly, I think that's all treasure. So I'm going to save states. If we go right on this one, we go way underneath where we just were. And here we go. So with that, I'm going to stop here. Um, the, uh, we'll finish off this area in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, Turn the Dark Sorcerer. This is Pilot22 saying thanks for watching. 
see you guys next time. Bye.